In this video, we describe how small variations in consumer demand can lead to larger and more exaggerated fluctuations in demand at the wholesale, distributor, and manufacturer levels. This effect results in inefficiencies like excess inventory, stockouts, and increased costs throughout the supply chain. Key Causes Predicting Demand Companies try to guess how much of their product customers will buy. This isn't easy, and getting it wrong means they might order too much or too little from their suppliers. When companies constantly adjust their orders based on these guesses, it can create a lot of chaos in ordering patterns, leading to overproduction or shortages at different times. Bunching orders together. To save money, companies often wait until they have several orders before making one large order. This strategy can reduce shipping and production costs. However, waiting to place bigger orders can make the demand seem very unpredictable. One moment there might be a high demand, and the next moment very little, which can confuse everyone involved in the supply chain. Changing prices. Companies often change prices through sales, promotions, or discounts. These price changes can make a lot more people buy the product suddenly. This temporary spike in sales might look like increased demand, but it's often just because the product is cheaper. When the promotion ends, the demand can drop just as quickly, making it hard for companies to plan what they need. Expecting shortages. When people think there won't be enough of something available, they might order more than they actually need. This happens both with businesses and customers. For example, if a retailer believes there will be a shortage of a popular product, they might order a lot more of it. This excessive ordering can exaggerate the demand, making manufacturers believe there is a higher need than there really is. Understanding these factors helps businesses figure out why their supply chains might not be working smoothly. By identifying the root causes of these fluctuations, they can take steps to make their supply chains more predictable and efficient, avoiding unnecessary costs and better meeting customer needs. Consequences Excess Inventory when companies guess that customers will buy more than they actually do, they end up with too much stock. This extra stock piles up in warehouses, taking up space and costing money to store. If it sits too long, it might never be sold because it could go out of style or expire. This means the company spent money making and storing things that no one buys. Stockouts. On the flip side, if a company underestimates how much their customers want, they don't have enough products to sell. This leads to stockouts where customers come looking for something that isn't there. Not only does this mean lost sales for the company, but it also frustrates customers who might decide to shop somewhere else in the future. Increased costs. The costs related to making, storing, and moving products can swing wildly if companies aren't good at predicting demand. For example, if a company makes more products than needed, they spend too much on production and might pay more for storing the excess. If they make too little, they might have to pay extra to rush more products into production or pay for expedited shipping to meet customer demand. These fluctuations make it hard for companies to plan their budgets and can reduce their profits. Inefficiency. When the supply chain isn't working smoothly, it affects the whole operation. For instance, if goods are frequently arriving too early or too late, it can slow down the process of getting products to customers. This reduces the efficiency of the supply chain, leading to wasted time and resources. Inefficiencies can also make customers unhappy if they're not getting their products when they expect them, which can hurt a company's reputation and its ability to keep customers coming back. Understanding and addressing the bullwhip effect can help companies avoid these issues keeping their operations running more smoothly and making their customers happier. This, in turn, helps the company be more successful and competitive in the market. Yinaldi Mitigation Strategies Improve Demand Forecasting Employ advanced analytics and use real-time data Reduce order batching Implement smaller, more frequent orders Stabilize prices Avoid large-scale promotions that cause demand spikes. Increase supply chain visibility. Share information throughout the supply chain. Collaborative planning. Align strategies with supply chain partners. Information sharing. 
emphasizes the importance of sharing real-time sales data, inventory levels, and demand forecasts among supply chain partners to reduce demand variability and improve efficiency. Case Study Procter & Gamble p g It presents a practical example where p g faced significant challenges from the bullwhip effect. By implementing targeted strategies like improved demand forecasting, reduced order batching, and enhanced communication, P&G successfully mitigated these issues, leading to improved inventory management and overall supply chain performance. This video concludes by reinforcing the importance of understanding and addressing the bullwhip effect to maintain a stable, efficient, and cost-effective supply chain, ultimately enhancing business competitiveness and profitability. This overview provides a deep understanding of the bullwhip effect, its implications, and actionable strategies for mitigation.